So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. So I want to follow up on a comment that was made on that live with Greyhound right now, Raw 100. Um, in regards to uh, Lil Bobo and Chunky, right? Now, if you go and you watch, I wasn't, I, I, I didn't know nothing about that until I heard it right now. But if you go back and you listen to Greyhound describe the details of what happened, you know what I mean? How little Bobo, he was on his nice street shit. He didn't give a fuck about no Garnale, no Pats, no none of that shit. None of it. And I try to tell people this all along that there are those of us who've always done it that way. Like there's not, there's never been no fucking buddy that's going to get in our way of doing what we want to do. No, we feel we need to do. This, this incident, this story is a prime example of that. And a prime example of, of what I've been speaking on also how those patches are no protection from motherfucker getting his ass whooped, motherfucker getting touched up, motherfucker getting killed. It is not no shield, dude. It doesn't make a motherfucker a superman because he has that. And this story of how Lil Bobo put tips on fucking Chunky and needed help. You know what I mean? He needed his skin out of fucking smash on Bobo or otherwise he was, he was fucked off. You see, this is why I try to explain to people all along. What is a motherfucker worth standing on his own? Now, see, I know chunking them a long time, and I know they didn't grow up fighting. They didn't grow up knuckling up like the rest, like a whole lot of us, especially those from Duper Villa. Bro, we had to fight in the fucking projects, dog. And I harp on this point all the time because people are, are always, you know what I mean, with this hype shit. Making it appear as if, you know, people, people's reputations are worth more than what they've actually done. You know what I mean? Tupac put it best when he said, I ain't shit without my homeboys. And look at the whole lot of them. What are they standing on their own? Any one of them who's ever had a past, myself included, what is any one of us worth on our own? Now, see... For myself, having gone through what I've gone through and, and come out of it in the fashion that I had, never fucking ran, fucking came out here to address everybody on these fucking streets. So I don't give a fuck about being locked up in prison because we're all in PC in prison. I don't give a fuck about that stupid shit. That don't make no one nothing. When we're on these streets and I'm coming out here and I'm fucking, I'm going to everybody sh showing my ass and calling motherfuckers out and trying to address this shit. That speaks volumes to me about the characters of myself and everyone I name. Because they wouldn't give me that, dude. And motherfuckers did and motherfuckers wouldn't even dare try to come from behind on me because they know better than that shit. See, this is part of what a lot of people don't understand about all this. And there's something that I explained in there how I never wanted the attention. I didn't want to be known. I didn't want nobody to know what the fuck I got going. I ain't nobody's business. But these big head motherfuckers get these patches and this claim of fame and they think it makes them something. You can't fight, homie. You can't fight and you could have lost your fucking life in a fight, homie. That's what motherfuckers forget. It ain't always about the knife and the gun, bro. Sometimes it's just pure about this. Because I've seen with my own eyes, motherfuckers lose their life with a gun in their hand. And I've seen motherfuckers lose their lives with their own gun taken from their fucking hands. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't perceive these same fears that other motherfuckers had, bro. Like I'm not, that's not a concern to me. And this is what I try to express to people about all of it is that like, dude, don't give a motherfucker any more credit than what you know, what you've seen with your eyes, motherfucker done. Is you taking for granted that the motherfucker that's hyping that fool up don't have ulterior motives and pumping his fucking nuts up and making himself look good. 
in doing so. People don't get that. You know, a lot of motherfuckers want to go around, oh, this guy, he's great, this and that, because cool with him. It's that whole nepotism shit, that old buddy system shit. But at the end of the day, what the fuck does that patch make a motherfucker do? If you got to call another motherfucker to do something for you. I ain't never had that fucking problem, dude. Never. I ain't never had no need to turn to a motherfucker to go do dirt, but it worked for me. Never. I never needed no fucking, there was never no fucking order me to do a motherfucking thing. Nope. I take mine. For reals, but all of them don't. That's the cold thing about it. Motherfuckers can slither around. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers can slither around. Motherfuckers won't meet you face to face like that. Motherfuckers ain't got it like that. And, and, and everyone needs to understand that about the whole lot of them. Because people don't realize that there are a whole lot of them out there that people continue to hype up. that They ain't done nothing, dude. They ain't done what you think they've done. They ain't earned what you think they've earned. So for you to give them that, that reputation and that respect, that's on you, dude. But there's those who know better. And shout out to little Bobo, man, because that's the homie right there, man. He tapped in with me some time ago, man. And, um, you know, we've been talked about fucking getting together and, and, and going live and shit, you know what I mean? But he ended, up, he ended up going back before we got a chance. So, you know, shout out to little Bobo for being a stand-up motherfucker from East Side 9th Street, homie. And saying, fuck that patch. That shit ain't, that shit don't make you, homie. That shit don't make you immune from what I'm going to put on your ass. And I think that everybody needs to take heed of that. Peace. And I'm out.